A pleasure to meet y'all at last. And here we are again with Why's That? This is a series that involves questions that start with Why's That? If there are any other type of questions, they cannot be accepted and you will lose your chance to have yourself a shout out. Though that is actually the main subject of the episode. We answer questions that start with Why's That? And if they do have Why Is That questions for us to answer, then our viewers can get a shout out. My Twitter also can accept Why Is That questions. If you haven't already known about that, you can tweet me your question or you can put your question down in the comment section below in any of my videos. Doesn't matter which ones they are, even if they don't relate to Why Is That, you can put Why Is That questions in the comment section below in any of my videos. But here we have ourselves a Twitter user who just gave me his question about an hour ago. And he asked me, why is that you prove yourself to be a gifted child of the Lord himself? Well, that's actually even more easier than I thought it would be because the answers to that kind of question they're just so easy, I could already just explain them in this one minute, but right now, I mean, I'd rather just go into detail rather than to just give out a simple answer to it, because it's just how I play things around here. But anyhow, the answer to this is actually a much bigger story than we thought it would be. But anyways, how I am a gifted child of the Lord himself of which I end up calling JC rather than Jesus Christ because I found out how in the Ten Commandments saying the name Jesus Christ would definitely hurt his feelings, of course. And that is actually part of the Ten Commandments. You can look them up right now if you want to. Otherwise, you can just stay on here and continue listening to the explanation as to how I'm a gifted child. Although I'm no longer a child right now, I am a grown man. 19 years of age right now. I turned 19 on June 4. And how I am against a child actually goes even further back than I thought it would be. Because with all the things that I have accomplished thus far, including the fact that I earned lots of rewards, I've earned lots of respect and love from others. Being a gifted child can oftentimes not be an easy thing in your lifetime. But anyhow, here it goes. It starts all the way back towards the time in which I nearly turned one. Because around that time is where I ended up getting to go to Hawaii. And that was actually the only time I ever left America. I've never left America since then. Hawaii was the only place in the entire world that I had been to. And of course, I've already talked to certain people out there that I do plan on traveling around the world in a single year, going to multiple destinations around the whole world. And I call this plan of the future 2022, around the world in six months. And like I said, it's going to be in 2022, so we still got some time left before I could even consider going anywhere around that time. I still got at least three and a half years left to think about what I could do for that particular time which I won't travel around the world that particular time of day. But of course, it's not just about Hawaii that practically made me a gifted child in any case. How am I a gifted child? Well, after 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005 even, those years throughout the early to mid 2000s, my mother took lots of home video of me and my brother even, <laughs> of which I can't really share them right now because that's just not possible right now at the moment, considering the fact how they're not files that would be able to go into the software that I use, plus they're viewable files that cannot really be changed or edited at this point. But home video is also something that proved to anybody who would be able to watch them how I am a gifted child of the Lord himself. But after 2005, going on to 2006, all the way up to 2015, 10 years that pass, I proved myself to even be a much bigger 
factor give the child that I am with earning three medals in spelling bee contests that I've done in my elementary school years. I earned second place in two of them, third place in one of them. And I did pretty darn good. Spelling was a pretty big gift of mine that I would be able to do, except there was just a part in life in which I wasn't able to learn many of the much larger and more difficult words of the American language. But that's alright, because up until today, I took upon myself to start learning these larger words so this way if any other spelling bee that would come up although I might be too old for one right now but it doesn't matter I'm sure there's gonna be pretty big spelling tests going on sometime much more expert much more expert level spelling tests that is spelling though is not just a gift of mine it's also a pretty big talent of mine that I have taken upon myself throughout 10 years of my life up until today. And another gift, another few gifts of mine, also around the fact that gifts and talents were another pretty big factor of my life that it still had some time left until the time was to come for these gifts and talents to appear. Singing, dancing, those two were pretty big talents of mine as well as playing certain instruments. I took it upon myself to play the piano since I turned five years old, around mid to late 2004. But that was also the time in which I got to learn how to use a camera. Late 2004 was where I started to learn how cameras work, and with camcorders though, camcorders didn't really appear in my life until 2007. 2007 was around the first time in which I got to know how to use a camcorder. Whereas using a regular old photography style camera was back in 2004. 2004, 2007 also proved to be pretty big years for me, aside from learning how to use a photography based camera and a videography based camera. There was also the fact that, well, Life just continued to pass on by to me. With every Christmas, I received certain gifts. Same with certain birthdays of mine. And there's also the time in which that other factors started to continue playing through throughout my whole lifetime. But let's not forget the fact that gifts and talents are going to make up for a pretty big piece of my life from this point forward. It could make up a pretty big factor of anybody's life from this point forward as well. Considering the fact that how they've been able to put some forth throughout in the past, there's an equal chance, there's a pretty big opportunity lying out there that these chances are going to come up higher than we thought. Talents and gifts are one of a kind of thing for anybody to have. Whereas for me though, I mean, I've got so many talents and gifts right now, I could brag about them for the next 17 and a half hours, but it would just be too easy and I would have made it less than four hours worth of bragging. And that right there was just not just a... Uh, explanation as to how much simpler I would have made time pass with me explaining all of my talents and gifts that were given to me at the time of birth. Talents, of course, I've managed to realize in later in life. I mean, I don't entirely blame myself for not learning any of these talents sooner rather than later. I would probably blame time itself for flying by too fast and not guaranteeing me the ability to bring out my talents sooner rather than later. And this explains why, how in some times in which I have explained to others how there were certain parts of my talents that I put forth into making a living out of, but yet I've never really succeeded in doing it. And that just goes to show how sometimes delays within your lifetime could really impact the future of yours. But anyhow though, there's much more to this whole thing about having gifts in your life that you can use 
than just what I've already talked about. You see, not only not the ability to travel at a very young age, from the time I went to Hawaii, as well as some other areas around the United States, really. There's also the times of which that certain other gifts tend to take place, including, if you've not already watched or watched that episode about me talking about my linguistics expertise, then you'd find out for yourself that linguistics was another pretty big talent of mine, but it was actually a gift at the same time. I was able to learn new languages much faster than average. And that is the reason why I currently speak seven, going on eight languages, of which I chose Icelandic to be the next language of mine that I would speak. But I would wait at least a few months for Italian to become a much more suitable language for me to start speaking in more often. And then I could move on to Icelandic. Linguistics, spelling, and traveling at a young age were some pretty darn awesome gifts. I could never thank anybody more than just the Lord himself. For handing me these gifts at the time of birth, learning super quickly, spelling words very well, all that good stuff that I've already just explained are not going to be for everybody out there, but of which I am one of the lucky few, although I wouldn't really say a lot, because I've taken skill to really do what I've been doing with these gifts of mine. Here in the future, though, years and years later, after I took these gifts up to a higher standard than just normal, there are still some more talents and gifts that I probably have yet to explain. I mean, the fact that I'm a really awesome video editor, the fact that I also have some really good singing and dancing, which you could you could look up my challenge videos based on In My Feelings and Level Up. Those two challenge videos are also going to be in the description box below. There's links for them down below that you can click on right now unless you want to continue listening to my explanation as to how I'm a gifted child of the Lord himself. Got that clear from that? Alright, let's just keep on going. So from that point forward, around 2007 in which I started to use camcorders, and the part of which afterwards I started to really take spelling as a really big talent of mine, 2010, at the start of the 2010s decade of which YouTube was starting to become a much bigger opportunity for me to really shine them forth my talents and stuff. Unfortunately, however, 2010 videos, 2011 videos, 2012 videos, from videos around those times which I did upload to my channel originally, they're all gone. And that is because of my dang parents. They deleted most of my videos and kept the rest of them private. If you've not already seen the confession video that I made two years ago, but yet I uploaded it kind of late. A year and a half late, that is. So those videos are gone. But every other video that is currently here right now, I could just simply work with pretty darn well. And as it turns out, that was a good decision for me, rather than to just delete those videos and start all over again. Keeping them really proved to help, because eventually, as the years went on by, up until this point in time, here in the present, Views kept on piling up, subscribers started to come in more often than not. And there's also the point at which that I ended up getting some pretty insightful comments to show up in the comment section below. However though, if you've already checked out well, the About section or anywhere else that you would look for to see my subscriber count, my view ch channel view count, anything else like that, they're still pretty darn low. And I know exactly why. And that's because time is of the essence. And I would have to wait years even if I had to, just for views to start piling up on my videos. And I would also have to continue making more content that would engage with the rest of the community, or relate to the rest of the community even. So this way I could have a, a bigger chance to earn more subscribers and views throughout the next several years even. If I had to wait that long even, I suppose that would work, but 
there's just times in which I ended up growing rather frustrated with the system because I just have a serious lack of credit on my YouTube channel today's standards. But of the videos that I do have some pretty big view counts on, I still get myself a pat on the back for keeping those videos. And I am more than just certain that whatever happens from now is not really, it's not just going to involve a little bit of my life end up probably going down the drain even. To sink myself some blood, sweat, and tears into making lots of videos out there for everybody to see. But then again, there's also the point in which I, like I said defer, I could continue waiting and waiting and waiting years and years upon at least a decade even just to have my subscriber count pile up, just to have my view count rise even higher than usual. That is something I would definitely do. I'd rather just sit and wait than to just really engage in anything that's pretty horrendous or awful out there that would have gained so much attention. I definitely would wait rather than to just do anything awful. However though, with another, well, another gift of mine of me creating such expert level videos like this one here, which involves me reacting to a Snickers commercial starring Elton John. And that was definitely the worst commercial I ever came across. My gosh, I never want to see that again in my life. I mean, that was the worst ever, which explains what the title is on that video. By far the worst, with a few exclamation points. Because, of course, you want to have yourself some feelings put forth into the title right there. And it's definitely not clickbait, I can tell you that right now. Clickbait is not something that I would feel like engaging in because that would be like cheating. And cheating is something I do not tend to agree with going forward with. Cheating, lying, stealing, well, any of those kinds of which that could have hurt my reputation in the future very badly. However though, there are actually much bigger things out there that we can just worry about than just lying, cheating, stealing, and listening to heavy metal music and rap music. Big thumbs down to those two genres plaguing this whole nation. I've also got the fact that with my linguistics in check, with my spelling in check, with every other talent of mine, with every other gift of mine that I have been given since birth, I can definitely tell definitely tell how well my life is going to go down from this point forward on account of the fact that I can really put forward any of my talents and skills, anything that I can use to my advantage to practically outclass others except bragging. Bragging would not be something that I would want to do at any given point in time. It just would not be fair to others, it would not show appreciation and respect for another person's talents and skills, let's say, and it would also guarantee myself that my reputation would, once again, it would be hurt if I engaged in such awful behavior and the like. Anyhow, though, I mean, that was a really fun topic out there. Explaining myself based on my gifts of my lifetime, my talents of everything, life is awesome, let's take it that way. And of course, I want to live life to the fullest. That's my bottom line. Charisma is also a pretty big factor of mine in case nobody have ever knew. That is why I end up having a positive attitude no matter where I am. And this way, everybody would feel better about themselves. And I would make anybody feel much better about themselves to the point in which they will continue thriving through the life itself. And that's pretty much the end of it, because, well, there's still a lot more why is that questions out there that I would probably have left to answer. And if you want to see more go down on my channel, however, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.